good afternoon stroke early evening as you've seen already I've cast out tench on the menu although not quite literally this session my cap as you can see there that was a gift well there were two caps actually from a, a, well, a group of Norwegian ground hoppers were at Park Hall which is where I work for the New Saints, the Champions of Wales, last season and I went to collect them. We had a coach and I went to collect them from a hotel in Liverpool and one of them gave me two caps. He was a very keen angler himself and in this instance my fame, if I can use that word in inverted commas of course, had already reached him and so as a gift he brought me two caps and a book on salmon fishing in Norway which incidentally was in English so that was good because I don't speak a word of Norwegian but back to the session today I'm cast out and I'm hoping to get a tinker or two for the camera. Off the mark with a nice tench. beautiful evening and of course fish like this are the icing on the cake. I recast and as soon as the bait hit the deck the rod pulled round. In fact I thought I must have caught it because it was so quick. Not complaining there. It's another nice tench and hopefully I'll show you that in a moment or two. One of the reasons I'm fishing with a barbel rod, albeit at the lower end of that type of angling and eight pound line on the reel and the hook length is because I'm positioned between uh, reed beds. Well, actually it would be one reed bed originally, but there's a section cut out to fish and I'm fishing off a platform. When you target fish, it's not just the size of the fish that you're hoping to catch but also the venue and of course the swim or the peg in which you set up in so if you're fishing for carp near snags then what you want to do is to make sure that that fish does not go into the snag and these reeds in effect are natural snags and whilst I'm fishing two lengths out from the reeds themselves so when the fish is hooked it instinctively heads for open water to go in the opposite direction from where I am and the, the resistance that it feels once I bring it in to the edge of the reeds it then looks to embed itself in the vegetation. So strong tackle you have to bully the fish don't you sometimes in a nice way of course but that's why we always have to think through uh, tackle not just the size of the fish that we're hoping to catch but also as I've said very important the venue on which we are targeting those fish. I've had a great session in fact I'm still continuing to fish I'm not showing everything to the uh, camera of course because I've had a uh, number of uh, fish on but I'm going to finish with this one another great looking tench fantastic aren't they I do like them 